She's a homemaker, don't you know? She'll teach you how to cook and sew, and how to wield a hammer. It's the June the Homemaker Show. Hello, and welcome to the June the Homemaker Show. I'm your host, June the Homemaker. Today on June the Homemaker, we are going to talk about gift wrapping, which is very important for if you want to give gifts to people. And I'm pretty sure that almost everyone has to give a gift to somebody sometime, and you want it to be pretty. We are going to talk about two kinds of gift wrapping today. One is the traditional kind of gift wrapping with wrapping paper and ribbon and bow. The other kind of gift wrapping is wrapping in a gift bag with tissue paper so that everything is pretty and wonderful. Gift bags have become the tool of the lazy and the late. If you don't really want to spend time wrapping a gift or if you're going, oh my god, I have to be at the party in half an hour and oh, here's a bag and I'm just going to throw it in the bag. I differentiate between the two kinds of gift wrapping in this way. Paper is good for presents that fit in boxes. I didn't mean it roses. Or come in boxes. Gift bags are good for oddly shaped gifts. Well, as an example, my little pirate ship here. There are little pirate flags on the top. This is the sort of thing that you wouldn't want to wrap in wrapping paper, so I'm going to show you how to wrap it in a gift bag. Well, there are actual gift boxes that you can get, but also good for the purposes of gift wrapping are shoe boxes, boxes that computer equipment comes in. Gift wrapping is a really good reason to keep boxes of various shapes and sizes because that's if you have a stuffed animal or something, then you can put it in a box and wrap it instead of trying to shove wrapping paper all over a stuffed animal, which is probably not the best idea. We are going to start with wrapping paper. To wrap a gift with wrapping paper, you need scissors and scotch tape. I also have a bow and some ribbon because I'm also going to show you how to curl ribbon. The first part of wrapping a gift in a box is that you have to measure out how much of the wrapping paper you will actually need. Just Put your box on the paper and guesstimate. A lot of wrapping paper these days, including this wrapping paper, is actually printed with a grid on the non-picture side. So you actually have straight lines to cut along, which is really happy if you're like me and you're a little bit almost anything challenged. You're going to want to leave a couple inches at each end of the box so that you can wrap things over at the end. This sort of fits across, and if I cut it to about here, which is about this line and I'll be able to wrap over the entire box. If in doubt, it's always better to cut too much wrapping paper than too little. Too much wrapping paper you can always cut down later. Too little wrapping paper, you're pretty much in big trouble. For wrapping a gift, you do want to work on a large flat surface. Wrapping on a floor is sort of okay, but not the best because floors are dirty, especially if you have pets. My wrapping paper today, by the way, says happy day and is covered with animals. Also, the box has animals on it around the earth. See, I have a theme. Step one, place the box on your wrapping paper so that it is long ways horizontally. Wrap one side onto the box wrap the other side onto the box. You want to pull this as tight as possible so that the wrapping paper is as close to the box as possible without hurting the box. You don't want to squish your box or the things in it. Put one piece of tape in the middle to hold it down and one piece of tape at one end and one piece of tape at the other end. Now we have a taped box that looks like this with these excess bits at the end. Start with an excess bit toward you. Crease the edge, take it from the corner and fold the wrapping paper in. Take it from the corner and fold the wrapping paper in. Occasionally things will get a little wrinkledy pinkledy, but it's okay. Take the triangular part, fold it up over the side of the box, and stick it with a piece of tape. Now we have this lovely gift box. And now we are going to put on some ribbon. The ribbon looks really impressive but doesn't actually take a lot of time and, oh by the way, is not really that hard at all. Find the end of the ribbon, which is generally taped. Cut off the part with a piece of tape. The length of the ribbon that you want is the same as about four long ways lengths of your box. Measure it out. One, two, and I give a little extra room too. Three, four. This is about the amount of ribbon that we need. Place it widthwise across your box. Flip your box over so that it stays in the middle. Bring your ribbon up so that it meets in the top. 
I have part of my ribbon in my left hand, part of my ribbon in my right hand, and they're of equal length. Switch hands. So the right ribbon is in my left hand, and the left ribbon is in my right hand. Now put your right hand forward and your left hand back, so you get this cute little tight cross thing on the back. Now flip over your box, put one ribbon through one way, and put the other ribbon through the other way. I'm putting it under the ribbon that we had first. Pull a little bit so that it's nice and tight. Make sure that everything is straight and beautiful. Then we are going to tie our first knot. There's a knot. Now we're going to tie another knot. There is another knot. So now we have this crossways ribbon on both sides. If you want to make your ribbon be all swirly and nice, like the ribbons in the store, all you have to do, put the blade of your scissors against the ribbon, hold the rest of the ribbon down with your fingers, and pull. There's a little bit. Pull and pull. Now you have this cute little swirly ribbon in the top. You could just leave your box this way, but you could also put a bow on here, and then you have a bow with the little swirly ribbon coming out the sides, which I think is cuter, so I'm going to have a bow. I like to have my bow and my ribbon be matching colors. This is an old bow, which has been used before, so I'm going to put some tape on it in order to put it on the box. Then the bow tapes down in the middle of the box, and now we have a really attractive looking present. Anybody would be excited to receive this gift. A lot of people get people gifts that are really cute, but then you don't take the time to wrap it and make it look special. I know that people are just gonna rip this apart, but it's sort of like food. Even though you're gonna eat it, you want it to look pretty. Not that I recommend eating wrapping paper at all. Now we are going to move on to the gift bag. You do not need scissors or tape or pretty much anything for this, except for a pen if you're gonna write on the little card. Although I recommend not writing on the little card because gift bags are highly reusable. So if you write on a card on a gift bag, then it means that the person that you're giving it to isn't able to reuse the gift bag unless they cut off the card first, I guess, which looks silly. When you're giving a gift in a gift bag, you're not just giving a gift. You're giving the gift of a gift bag. So you want the people to be able to reuse it. The first step is to wrap loosely whatever it is that you're giving in wrapping paper. In this case, we are giving Crimes of the High Seas. I mean a pirate ship. We're going to wrap this loosely in wrapping paper just so that it's covered, not so that it's insanely anything. I'm just gonna pull this up around the pirate ship like so and do a little bit of a scrunch. This is how it's going to sit in the bag, covered in a little bit of wrapping paper. Next, I'm going to take out a piece of tissue paper to line the box so that whatever it is that is your gift, it's sitting in a bed of wrapping paper. If you can, make sure there are a couple of little pieces of wrapping paper sticking out, because that looks decorative. And you take this little guy, put him in the wrapping paper. Sometimes this requires a little finagling to make sure everything continues to look pretty. Gift bags never look truly festive unless they're sprouting wrapping paper, tissue paper. <clears throat> take a piece of tissue paper, punch through the middle like a superhuman. Pull out where you punched and do one of these things. Now you have kind of a floret of tissue paper. Stick your floret down into one side of your gift bag, letting it stick up a little bit. Then take another piece of tissue paper and do the same thing. Make your little floret. And if you're anything like me, you'll rip the wrapping paper a lot, but it won't matter because it's just decorative. Stick this floret into the other side of your gift bag. Now there's this really decorative gift bag. If you hand somebody a gift bag, you don't want them to look inside and see a lump of stuff. You want them to be like, oh, what is that in there inside this jungle of wrapping paper? Tissue paper, which I keep calling wrapping paper. All of this stuff you can generally find at any drugstore. Although if you're looking to get them on the cheap, whether you're a Christmas celebrator or not, Go out at Christmas because you can buy miles and miles of this stuff and not even for Christmas themed wrapping paper. You can get them on the cheap in December and then use them for the rest of the year. There is no reason ever to throw out a bow that comes off a present. Keep it and you can put it on other presents. If you plan your gift wrapping right, you're not just giving the gift that's in the wrapping, you're giving the gift of the wrapping. And that's what June the Homemaker has to say about gift wrapping. This is June the Homemaker and I think that's the end of my craziness for the day. Hey, got a person for me? Yes, I do.